My Makeup Geek Highlighter in Midnight Sun, one of my favorites. It just fell out of the freaking paint. Shattered everywhere. Um, so this video, you guys, welcome to my channel. This video is a dupes video for the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I just kind of wanted to go through my collection and see what shades I could find that were similar. Um, she did a really good job. Honestly, like, I feel like it was pretty tough to find shades that were fairly similar. So, let's just go ahead and jump on into this. We'll take probably a little while. So the very first, oh, I also want to mention for swatches, I'm not going to be particular about how many times I'm going in there. I'm going to be building it up. I'm going to put that out there because I want you guys to be able to see the shades and the differences. Okay, so very first color is in light. Shima Shima and MAC Shroom. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see these because these are so fair and I'm also so fair. But those are the shades. Obviously Shima Shima and um, Shroom are way pinker than uh, Jaclyn's color. Hers is a lot more of an in-between. I'm also actually going to go ahead and swatch right next to all of these. Her next color in the palette, which is Beam. And this one is a little more golden, however, it's very subtle of a difference. Um, I found any of the shades I thought would maybe be similar were too yellow compared to this shade. So that's that. So Bean is on the end here. So the closest one that I found that was um, the same, or not the same, but the closest, was Makeup Geek's Rapunzel shade. But I don't know if you can tell, this is a fair amount more yellow than her shade. I found that with a lot of these shades, the dupes actually, like I've used, I use um, like similar, I, I use the same shade multiple times because a lot of the shades in her palette are similar enough where you could find one dupe for two of them. Okay, so Silk Cream. So Silk Cream right here. This is Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie over here. Uh, this is uh, Anastasia's Burnt Orange. And this one is Makeup Geek's Chickadee. So as you can see, none of these are great dupes. They're all either like too peachy, too orangey. This one is a very distinct uh, brown orange, an orangey brown. So that one was a little bit hard to dupe. The next one, the one next to it, Okay, so here are my dupes for MFEOs. MFEO is the one farthest on this side. And then we have got Max Soft Brown is the color next to it. So Max Soft Brown is the one the one next to it. And then we've got uh, what's the one next to it? Oh, it's the, in the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. This is the Sun, which one is it? Sunrise color. Right there, which actually, that, so that third shade, or, yeah, so that third shade there. So that's actually fairly similar. And then we have got Anastasia in the Self Made Palette. Um, Sherbert. Uh, very similar. The only thing is this one has more of a sheen to it, but when you blend it out, it actually looks fairly similar. So those are MFEO dupes. So for the first color, so this is Faint here, the first pink color in the palette. And then we have Makeup Geek Starry Eyed makeup, and Makeup Geek Whimsical. So Starry Eyed is a little bit more of a, has a little bit more of a, like, taupe undertone. And then Whimsical, I'd say, is a little bit more baby pink than Faint is, but those, I think, are fairly similar. You can almost mix them together and get that Faint shade. Okay, and then for Sissy, I could not find a very good one. So the closest I found was actually Rosé Spritz from her Jaclyn Hill face palette with Becca. So this one is Sissy from the Morphe palette, and then this one is um, Rosé Spritz. But Sissy is almost a purpley pink with that, and Rosie Spritz is very much like coral gold pink. So that one didn't work that great, but that was the closest I could find for that one. Okay. So this one is Little Lady, and then we have MAC Expensive Pink, and then we have Makeup Geek 
Cosmopolitan. They're all very similar in color, just Morphe is a little bit more of a wet form foiled formula as opposed to the other two being more your typical shadow formula. And I did have to build up MAC Expensive Pink the most. Okay, so then the next shade we've got in here is Creamsicle. So this very first shade is the Creamsicle sh uh, shade from the Morphe palette, and then we have Makeup Geek's Chickadee, and then we actually have a mixture from the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting to focus it. So um, this is the Creamsicle, and then we have Makeup Geek's Chickadee, and then the last shade is actually two shades from the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. They are a mixture of Horizon and Soul. So the orange and yellow shades from the Natasha Denona set Sunset palette are the last is the last swatch there, and that's actually extremely close to that creamsicle shade. So, so then we have the shade Butter from the Morphe palette right here, and then it goes. Um, I swear I'll get this, guys. So we have the shade Butter, and then I grabbed um, Anastasia Burnt Orange again, uh, and then we got Becca Wild Honey Blush actually. Uh, and then IT Cosmetics Bur uh, Sunrise again. And then the last one is the Natasha Denona Sinai from the Sunset Palette. So those are the dupes for butter. Okay, and then this shade we've got in the palette now is the shade Pooter. So that's the shade Pooter there. And then we have Makeup Geek Frappe and then MAC Saddle. Okay, and then to keep going, we've got Hunts right here from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And then we have, uh, uh, da, 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 excuse me, I lost my place, Anastasia Realger from, um, it says a little bit more brown. And then we've got uh, MAC Red Brick, which is definitely a lot more red and less brown than Hunts. Okay, next. Next, we've got Firework. <laughs> Firework. And then we've got Makeup Geek's Flamethrower, which is a little bit more sparkly and more in your face. And then we have Makeup Geek's Roulette as well. So those three. And then next on the palette, we've got Queen Bee, which is this shade here. Uh, next to that is Becca Topaz Blush, copper highlight thing, and then we have Natasha Denona Sunset Abade. I have no idea how to say that, guys, but that's those three shades right there. Okay, guys, so then we have Obsess, and I didn't have really a very good one to match with this. Um, I have Crank It Up Pearl from the K uh, Casey Holmes and Smashbox highlighting palette, and then also I thought uh, Becca's Opal would be a good match, but that's in my bedroom and I'm not my son's sleeping in there, so I'm not going to go in there. Uh, then next on my arm is uh, SBN, right, right here, and next to it I have Anastasia's Hot and Cold. I really did not have a good match for this color. This uh, this one that she has here is very unique. It's a pinky brown with um, foiled shadow. It's very pretty. I really like it. So I did not have a good match for that one at all. And then next we have Hillster right here. And that one, MAC Antique, I thought was pretty close to that one, but way less pigmented. Like I really had to fight to get color on that one. So that's those shades. The next shade we've got is Rocks Anne, right there, and we had quite a few dupes for that one. We've got Brown Script from MAC, Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, and then Natasha Denona Terra was kind of a decent dupe, I thought. Um, okay, and then the next color on the palette is Jazz, and I thought Red Oka, Red, <laughs> Red Oka, Red Ochre from the Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance palette was a decent match for that one. And then Buns here on the end, I thought Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, once again, was a decent match for that one, actually. Right there. So that is those dupes. Then I've got Cran Apple from the Morphe palette. Then we've got Makeup Geek's Curtain, is it? Yeah, Curtain Call. 
no, excuse me, uh, Storybooks Cosmetics, Sorcery, Sorcerer Color, and then Makeup Geeks Curtain Call there on the end. So that is those two dupes for Cran Apple. And then we have Royalty, which to be honest, Royalty is the most pigment pigmented by far. And we've got uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Purple from the Self Made Palette. And then Makeup Geeks Masquerade right there next to that one. Not super close. I was really kind of reaching with that one there. And then we've got Twerk from the Morphe Palette. And next to that one, we have Makeup Geeks, Makeup Geeks Center Stage right next to it. And then we have also Makeup Geeks Plot Twist there on the end. And then we've got uh, Hustle from the Jaclyn Hill Palette. I'm trying to see where I'm at here. Hustle. Uh, I have Max Satin Taupe next to it and Makeup Geeks Homecoming next to it. Hunk, Homecoming and Hustle are very similar in pigmentation. Satin Taupe I did have to build up a little bit more. So that is those. So then we have Meeks right here. Um, we have Self Made, uh, or excuse me, yeah, this is the color Self Made from the Self Made palette uh, from Anastasia. And then we have Stila Gilded Gold, which is not nearly as pigmented, but I thought actually that one ended up being closer to the color 24 7, which before I didn't find a very good dupe for. So I found those two to be fairly similar. I feel like 24 7 just is kind of the shimmery, or excuse me, the glittery version of uh, Meeks. And then we've got Chip. Right here we got Chip, and we have Natasha Denona Volcano next to it, Makeup Geeks Americano, and then uh, Anastasia Hot Chocolate from the, wait, whoa, what am I doing? Excuse me. Chip, uh, Natasha Denona Volcano right here, Americano for Makeup Geeks, and then the very last one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Hot Chocolate from the Self Made Palette again. And then we've got, did I really not get that one? I thought I got it. We have Pool Party right here, and then uh, Makeup Geeks Pegasus right next to it is the dupe. And then we've got J the color Jada I had absolutely no dupes for at all, anything. So that's a solo color there for sure. And then we've got Diva. I did Ma Makeup Geeks Typhoon right next to it, which is more of a duochrome. And then I also did Makeup Geeks Take, I believe it's Take Two right next to it. But this is more of like a pale army green, so I didn't have something super close to it. But then we have uh, Enchanted. Uh, Enchanted right here, and then right next to it is Makeup Geese Enchanted Forest. So that is those dupes. Alright guys, we're almost done here. Home stretch. So I decided to go ahead and do redo Mocha here. I got Mocha on the end, and then to go with Mocha, we have Natasha Denona Volcano next to it. And then Anastasia Cypress Umber. And then Cypress Umber I also found matched up with uh, da, 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 which one? Central Park right here. Uh, so this is Central Park. And then next to it is Natasha Denona Indigenous. And then Stila Sandstone, which is far less pigmented for sure. So then I also thought Cypress Umber could be in with those ones. So that is those dupes. And last but not least, I didn't dupe the black one because I figured you guys could figure out blacks yourself. Uh, so we have Soda Pop here from the Morphe palette. Next to it is Makeup Geeks Drama Queen. And then we also have, this is from the IT Cosmetics palette. It is called Iconic. And this one is far less pigmented than the other two, for sure. So that is those. I hope this was helpful for you guys if you were looking for certain dupes in the Jaclyn Hill palette but didn't want to purchase the whole thing. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!